the Village Trustees, January 2nd, 2018, at 7 p.m. Roll call, please. Trustee Burroway. Here. Trustee Frost. Here. Trustee Humper. Here. Trustee Lawrence. Here. Trustee O'Sullivan. Here. Trustee Rayberg. President Skillman. Here. Trustee Rayburg has a problem at his house. He texts me right before the meeting, so unable to make it tonight. So please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and invocation by Pastor Dexter Ball. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, and uh, let me be the first to wish everyone a happy new year. And Father, tonight we thank you, God, as we just come together. We, uh, we thank you for this new year that we have. And Father, we just speak your blessings right now over our agenda tonight, and uh, we bless our village. Lord God, we bless all those that are involved in uh, working to make our village great towards you. And so, Father, we pray that you would lead us, guide us tonight into all truth. Uh, govern us, Lord God. Let this be a successful year. Let this be a year of your favor, of your anointing, and your power. And God, we just submit and surrender to you. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Okay, next item, proclamations. Do we have anything tonight, Kelly? None. Okay, next item, appointments, confirmations, administrative votes. None of those either. None of those. Public comment. No one tonight. Nobody. Oh, all right. So our next item will be consent agenda. All items listed on the consent agenda will be enacted in one motion. There will be no separate discussion on those items unless the trustees so request. I'll motion. In which the event, the item will be, sorry, hold on. Sorry about that. <laughs> Removed from the general order of business and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda. So. I'll motion to pass the consent agenda. Second. Okay. Hart, Hart we need to just clarify there's a new one on the table. <laughs> For B and C. The board, there is an amended resolution for item B. Item C is not changed. changed. It's affected by the amendment. Yes. Um, the amendment would, um, the item on the agenda was for uh, purchase of eight vehicles for the amount of $289,526,000. Um, the <coughs> amendment would have the purchase be for four vehicles, the amount of $148,872,000. It's basically taking four of the vehicles that were listed purchasing those and the other four there'll be no action taken so if the board's in agreement uh, my question would be president skillman would the movement and seconder that amendment? I'll, I'll i'll move to amend my motion to include the new information second so be, great so okay. the, the motion would be to approve items a through c with the resolution item be amended as i've discussed and as is present of the day is tonight great thank you okay we have a motion by trustee humphrey and second drive trustee burroway roll call please trustee humphrey yes Trustee Lawrence? No. Trustee O'Sullivan? Yes. <clears throat> Trustee Burroway? Yes. Trustee Frost? Yes. <clears throat> okay, motion carries. I'll take care of B and C then. Okay. A, B, and C are approved. All right, so next item on the agenda is reports and manager and staff. We have no reports tonight, President Skillman. All right, we have no reports. Moving on to old business. Kelly, no old business. Okay, so we have new business tonight, a resolution waiving competitive bidding requirements and approving professional service agreement with Business Districts, Inc. of Forest Park, Illinois, for municipal branding services. A motion to pass this resolution. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion by Trustee Humphrey, second by Trustee Frost. <clears throat> Trustee o oh. Roll call, please. <laughs> Trustee O'Sullivan. Yes. Trustee Burroway. Yes. Trustee Frost. Yes. Trustee Humphrey. Yes. Trustee Lawrence. Yes. Okay, the new business motion carries. Thank you. Um, just for the short discussion, if uh, Trustee Humphrey, if you want to, after our meeting the other day, be, sure. for Lauren's sake, since we have Lauren in the in sure. attendance tonight we uh we had a meeting the uh i guess it was the second week of december with bdi regarding the proposal that they provided to us and really just wanted to go through and get some clarification of some of the items that were identified in the proposal 
I think everybody had an opportunity to receive that proposal and possibly look at it if they had time. Um, so those changes were made. I've checked them tonight uh, with the uh, resolution that we just passed and most and the changes that we discussed were made. I do want to highlight a few things. Um, there will be a group of people that uh, staff has already worked on. Patrick Burke has sent out an email uh, to me and a, a few others. I'm not sure if all the trustees were copied of people that will be will comprise the project task force. And really it's just to get an idea of the questions that they're going to ask about perceptions of the village. Uh, so from that perspective, I think uh, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, I would like for the other trustees to see that list because I want to make sure that we get full representation of who everybody has contacts with in the village to be on that. So it's a, it's a small group, uh, business owners, uh, there's going to be some uh, talking with the uh, special events committee and a few other committees that uh, we're going to, that are part of the uh, current uh, committees on the board that report to the board. Uh, some uh, restaurateurs, uh, probably retail strategies will be in there as well as one of the uh, uh, people to consider. Um, and then with that information, uh, business districts will develop a survey. And that's the other concern I have is with the survey monkey. We, we talked about this at length. Uh, my concern is, is that there may be people whose perceptions and beliefs and uh, uh, desire to contribute may not be represented because they have to use an electronic device to do that. I talked to uh, President Skillman about that and we got some ideas uh, also with Patrick Burke and uh, Mark Huber of how to get to reach in those, especially the Far East side. I'm really interested in uh, some of the thoughts there. And I want to make sure that we try to include as many people as possible. So we're going to have to be a little bit, we're going to have to think a little bit as how, how do we get to those people and try to use the contacts that all of us have developed, including uh, staff's contacts as well. Um, those were some of the majority of things that were clarified as far as the proposal. Uh, they will do it, perform it in, in stages. Uh, the trustees will be part of one of the beginning stages and we're kind of eyeballing the first meeting in February as when you guys will be interviewed individually, probably before a board meeting to make it easy. Uh, that still has to be coordinated at this point, but I just want to give you a heads up for that. Um, I think that's the, uh, you know, the goal is to find out what people perceive about our village. That's ultimately the goal and then act on that information so um, I think we're in good shape it's a it's a good proposal it's fair from uh, you know from our discussions and if you, anybody has any questions I'll certainly try to answer them okay yeah after trustee reports and committee report we're gonna take a short break and I thought maybe Lauren wanted to ask some questions perfect yeah to maybe mm -hmm. you and Patrick and and, my, and me maybe you know um, Okay, so next item is trustee reports. Trustee Burroway. Uh, thank you. Um, not much on uh, my agenda. Uh, the next C4 meeting is on uh, January 11th at uh, Public Works, 7 o'clock. I'll join us. Everybody join us. It's, uh, we still are looking for people to come into the group and to grow it, things like that. On that note, I just got a, a news release today that Kane County, along with DuPage, Lake, McHenry, and Will Counties in Illinois today filed lawsuits against some of the nation's largest pharmaceutical companies and physici physicians over the aggressive and fraudulent marketing of prescription opioid painkillers. So uh, Kane County has joined that group to, uh, to try and stop some of this that's coming in. Uh, <clears throat> through uh, these uh, marketing, uh, drug marketing people and, uh, and some physicians, unfortunately. So uh, it's a step forward and uh, I'll be following that story closely. Uh, Jelkies Creek, the, the next meeting will be uh, February, February 4th, I believe. Anyways, uh, I hope everybody had a happy and, uh, new year and uh, Happy and healthy New Year. 
uh, <clears throat> that's one of the things that I'm struggling with with my voice and stuff <laughs> so for the past month but anyways thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> yeah we're all <clears throat> coughs <clears throat> trustee frost um, I don't have any report just I uh, hope everyone had a nice holiday and happy new year thank you Sullivan. Nothing to report. Nothing to report. Mm -hmm. Trustee Lawrence. Nothing to report. <coughs> Same here. Thank okay, you. great. Thank you. Yeah, no, I don't have much either. Um, January 23rd is my next meeting downtown for the CMAC committee. Um, so getting back to that this year. So um, otherwise, then why don't we take a short break right now and um, reconvene on other business then? And close session. Do you have to say that after? They don't have to and then close session after that so so short recess